garden update. See where show you where everything's at, how things are going, and how things. The hugel beds aren't working uh, if you don't add a lot more fertilizer to them. Stuff like that. First off, we're gonna start with the potatoes. I had to fence it in because my dog kept crawling in and digging a hole, but they're starting to die back. So in a couple of weeks, we'll probably be digging these up as soon as this dies back, but they're still growing on top too, so. They're looking really good. Over to the peppers. The dog killed uh, the four other ones I had, so I just have two left. And uh, they're still producing. Uh, they're now they're, they're starting to flower again. I picked them all the other day. The asparagus, this is the best crop of asparagus I got. If you look back in there, you can see some little fingerlings. I probably could cut those and eat those, but this is the first year, so I'm gonna go ahead and let those root go into the fern mode like this. This is a, what they call, it helps the roots get bigger and grow deeper in the ground. Here's one I, I cut the top of, off of it off of this one right here. I don't know if you can see it. And it's grown back already, so that's a good sign. I need to get in there and weed it. Put this up to keep the dog out. Looks like a looks like a choo-choo train. That's my asparagus right there. Moving over to the green beans. These look really good. I've already gotten a bag of green beans. And if you look at here, I'm, this every day is a picking day, basically. You can see green beans everywhere. They have flowers uh, right there, all through down here. And you just gotta kind of work it back in to the to the arch I built. I got a thing in the middle. This is the fort, basically. And it comes up and over. And this keeps the dogs out and the rabbits out. I got two kinds of beans. Couldn't tell you which ones are what. Just green beans, you know. They look pretty good, though. Move around here and show you my cucumbers. This is pathetic. It's so wet that it just it just um, has a lot of too much water in the ground. I plant some more. You can see them right there, there, and that one over there and there. And I planted some cantaloupe on the other side because they just they seem like they just died from the too much water. I'm hoping to still get something out of this, but it's middle of June, late June. So this is my carrot bed. And uh, I have done no thinning of this. So but I do have some carrots that are starting to they're not that big though. These could be baby carrots. I'm just going to pick them as I go. Not really going to worry about thinning them. Because I'm going to eat them like as I go along. But I think with the sun and a little less rain, they might shoot down further into the ground. And be, uh, you know, get bigger. Here's my onions. Still growing. They look healthy. Uh, some of them are starting to wilt on top. Most of them look about like this right here. They're gone to seed. Uh, just gotta wait till they die. The tops die, and the, I'll show you the bottoms when I get around. See over here, a little pollinating bee there. That's pretty neat. Okay, these are the white onions right here, and these are the red onions. Here's what we're looking at right now so far. I think the, as they, the tops die down, they'll start to get bigger, and then I'll pick them towards the end of summer, or whenever they're big enough. The yellow, the white ones over here, there, there you go, see that, right in there, kind of uncovered them a little bit. I have some volunteer tomatoes though, right there, they're cherry tomatoes, see the, they're flowering, they look really good, they look great. Then we move over to the ones I planted. They look terrible. This is on a hugel bed, and I've added fertilizer, and the top has really started to come back uh, on a lot of them. But the bottoms have died a little. But I've added some uh, uh, Miracle Grow to the garden because the bed, the logs will sap the, the fertilizer out of the ground, sap the energy out of the ground. You know, there's another volunteer tomato right there. Looks good healthy these are starting to get healthy on top I think the Sun is going to do a big deal too 
There's one right there, getting some flower heads. Tomato here, it's basically dead. Just let it, I, I weeded all the ones I thought I were gonna survive, so. And here's another tomato. You can see the tops are starting to grow back. So I'm hopeful this will fix everything. A little fertilizer. And I don't have the fungus growing on the ground anymore uh, from the, the rot of the logs. But you can see down in there where the dirt's kind of went back into the hole. And uh, I got new growth coming up through here and I got some growth over there. This one's basically going to probably die on me. And this one's already gone. I, been gone for a while looks like this one looks pretty good this one's actually growing up instead of down <laughs> so uh, tomatoes on hookah culture beds you're gonna need to make sure you fertilize them really well move over here to the corn this looks this is really good corn it looks good now on this one I planted just this side of the hill I didn't plant the other side of the hill which I should have this one I planted both sides of the hill and it's looking really good so of course, no stalks yet, no ears yet, you know, no flowers. But they're looking, I got some really healthy ones. Look how thick that is. There's some other ones that are thicker too. Right there growing. It's a nice little photo right there. All right, move back over here to the squash, my favorite plant. First of all, first I'm gonna hit the eggplant. Okay, we have eggplant right here. A little bit of bugs on them. A little bit of eating, but as it, they're getting older, see the flowers. I got one that's turning into a uh, eggplant. There's another flower right there. On over here, we got cabbage. This is my brother's daughter's cabbage. Uh, one of those growing contest things, you know. So, um, got, got some bug damage, but all in all, I think it's doing good. I don't, I really don't care for cabbage myself, but. I don't know why they picked up. Now this, I replanted radishes. Now they're thick here, thin over here. This is, and so I figure I'm gonna get another week, uh, another set of uh, radishes out of it because it's still early in the season. Here's my squash. This plant looks terrible in the morning. It'll perk up later on. Got some squash there. I got some blossom right. I need to pick one more. Um, this one's got some squash coming out on it. Oh, there's some blossom right. I'm going to need to pick that. I put some fertilizer on it to add calcium to the garden. So this is what I'm getting right here. So hopefully the calcium will work. See where the dirt's falling down in there? You can see the logs. See, I got some more blossom rot right here as well. Uh, didn't see this this morning when I picked them. I have, I have gotten some squash on there that's edible and, and some of the squash is looking hopeful you can see in there there's some as long as the, the calcium stays in the ground you can see this one's wilted right here you can see other ones I've picked off and thrown down you can see this one's here they're squished in on the end don't want to risk it those I'll probably get I'll probably be able to get those that's kind of an overview of the garden um, I picked the uh, garlic already. It wasn't very big, but I just went ahead and tastes pretty good, though. So there's kind of an overview. I got some uh, Brussels sprouts. I'm going to plant uh, when the squash is gone, or or I don't know. Really, kind of running out of room. So there's kind of an overview of my garden. So.